And now, here's a look at what's happening in your neighborhood. From New York One, your New Jersey News Now. It's estimated that 50,000 people will die from colon cancer this year across the country. But researchers say more than half could be saved with regular screenings. New York One Health and Fitness reporter Kofi Drexel has more. On her first routine colonoscopy, a standard protocol for colon cancer screening, doctors discovered 52-year-old Ilania Mendoza had a polyp. It was an abnormal growth of tissue in her colon that, if left undetected, could have turned into cancer down the road. Other than concerns about a family history, with no symptoms for Mendoza, it's something that might not have been caught. I have a history of my family, so I don't want to be like waiting to the last minute and not being able to do anything for myself because let's not forget that we have kids grandkids that we want to see grow. Mendoza's doctor says it's a good thing her polyp was discovered because all too often she already sees patients coming in with problem. Patients come to us symptoms we call them things like weight loss that's unintentional um, rectal bleeding abdominal pain and when they have those symptoms then we really need to investigate uh, by doing a diagnostic test called a colonoscopy. Mendoza's polyp was removed during her routine colonoscopy screening and she'll return for a follow-up in three years. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death among adults nationwide. By catching polyps or cancers early, more than half of those lives could be saved. Recommended guidelines say colonoscopy screening should start at the age of 50 and continue every 10 years after that as long as results are normal. Doctors say you should start earlier at the age of 40 if you have a family history. Chances of colon cancer increase with age. Race is also a factor. Blacks have a greater risk of colon cancer than other races. And diabetes, obesity, smoking, and heavy use of alcohol also increases the risk. Something everyone should keep in mind is that diet can also play a major role in colon cancer risk as well. We really want to eat a high, a high fiber diet fresh fruits, vegetables, and 25 grams of fiber a day. The link there is mainly uh, with high cholesterol, obesity, um, and high fat diets. So in addition to regular screenings, doctors remind us working on the factors we can control may be a big help as well. In the Bronx, Kofi Drexel, New York One.